I wanted to talk today about where we may see Bitcoin headed to in five years from now, in 10 years from now, even a couple decades from now. How will we perceive the Bitcoin technology and what kind of use cases we'll have for in society? It's my belief that moving forward, Bitcoin may be seen as a sort of global reserve instrument. And today, I'd like to give a few reasons why I believe that to be so. The first reason is that because of the inelastic supply function of Bitcoin, it has the potential to mitigate business cycles. And what I mean by this is deviations in the demand for Bitcoin have no effect on the supply issuance of new currency units. The supply of new Bitcoin is abided to by miners by a mathematical algorithm and it is unchanging from the market perception of Bitcoin. The rise or subsequently fall of demand in the economy in the marketplace for Bitcoin is representation in the denomination of national currencies. Now, the Austrian school of thought will have you believe that the bust of a business cycle is inevitable. Instead, what should be avoided is the boom, which can sometimes be an artificial and misleading representation of the growth or the health of an economy. One of the main factors for a boom in a business cycle is credit expansion. And in Bitcoin, generally speaking, there is no such thing as fractional reserve banking and no such thing as quantitative easing. Bitcoin, because of its inelastic supply function, has the potential to mitigate and reduce business cycles. The next reason is that because it is an open source and completely accessible system, it makes users in that economy less dependent on other participants. Let me give you an example. Russia and China recently signed a currency swap deal to bypass the US dollar. This is representation that national governments and individuals as well have this desire to become more independent in their economic livelihood. With Bitcoin, as long as one party does not control the entire network, you can go anywhere in the world and you can conduct your financial transactions without requiring approval from an external authority. The final reason is that for the very first time, encryption makes protection of our economic assets incredibly inexpensive. The te technology of encryption makes storing data and information and now financial assets so inexpensive that it demonetizes our current financial system. Peter Diamandis in his Exponential Framework described demonetization as one of the stages and with this applied to Bitcoin I think it can reveal banking fees, ATM fees which charge you to get your own money back, infrastructure of the banks, salaries paid to banking employees all these things are negligible and eliminated in the Bitcoin economy because there is no need for them. This is the demonetization in some regards of our current financial system. Encryption makes protection of our financial assets but also ledgers of information incredibly inexpensive and secure. In truth, when Bitcoin is used in the manner it's designed to be used, a relationship between you and your money and no one else, the chances of it being hacked are near zero. These reasons, being an inelastic supply function of money, being an open source and potentially independent economy, and making encryption having the effect of inexpensive storage of data and financial assets or why Bitcoin may become a global reserve instrument.